Hi guys, it's Tasman here. So as you know, I have quite a large Superman collection, as you can see. So we've just moved it into the, into the house, but basically what I'm going to be doing now is going through all the boxes and figuring out what stuff will be going in the attic, sadly, and what stuff will be staying on display in this very room, which will eventually become my Superman museum. So as I go box through box, I'll show you guys what I have and the stuff that I'm going to be picking out to go on display. So yeah. All right, so this is the contents of the first box. Um, so most of it, I think, is what I got from Comic-Con. So San Diego Comic-Con and London Film and Comic-Con from 2018, I think. And I know that because I have a autograph from Zachary Levi, who was at London Film and Comic-Con, and Jack O'Hallahan, who played Non. So I think I'm definitely gonna keep out the autograph to put in my museum i have the exclusive superman pin but it looks like his head seems to have fallen off which is a shame so i have to pick up another one of those so all these little pieces here i got from the airport actually on my way back from san diego comic con so we have sticky notes two nice pens some mints a magnetic puppet <laughs> um quotable notables soap and a classic magnetic action set so you've got all the classic suits like our well, Lex Luthor suit and you can see the magnets that come with them there too. I also have this Superman lava lamp which has never been used although the box is a little bit damaged and then there's the um, DC Artist Alley Superman figures which are designed by Chris Uminga who well, I really like these. The artwork on these are really cool. So I think there are three Superman ones available, so I still need to get the, I think it's a zombie version or a zombie coloured version. So that's the one I still need to get. And these are definitely going on display when my room is up and running because they're awesome. And then we have the Superman Venomates. So I think I got both of these from San Diego Comic Con as well. So I got this one, which is just one of the standard ones from Diamond Select Toys. And then the San Diego 2018 exclusive, which is the legacy. So you've got the classic Superman uh, symbol there and a sort of metallic version of that one, I guess. But I, well, I love these and this one was to celebrate the 80th anniversary of Superman, but I have so much stuff and I think I'm gonna have to put these in the attic. Oh. And actually, on this, I've just noticed this, but I have number one of 1,500, which is pretty damn cool. And I definitely wasn't the first one to get this. They were just kind of on the shelves when I picked them up, so well happy with that. Okay, I might keep this one out, actually, just because of that. Awesome. And then there's the two Beast Kingdom um, special editions. So this one was for the 80th anniversary. And then we also have this black one, which is the black suit. I'm not going to show you the inside now, but I'll show you the backs. And I'll show you the inside when I do actually get my museum up and running, because these two are definitely going on display. Simply, the box on this one is fantastic. And, you know, black suit Superman, as we are finally going to see in the Snyder Cut. Can't wait. Then we also have the Man of Steel Play Arts action figure, which is Jungle Zod. I don't think I have the Superman one, sadly, but you can't really see the inside very well because it's all packaged up. You can probably see me in the re reflection. But again, I'll show you these um, in more detail when I actually put them out because this one is also going out. And a little random ones. So a few kind of little random ones. So we have Superman Returns figure. I have quite a lot of these, but sadly, you know, the packaging has seen better days, but that's due to age and I guess wear and tear, but that's a cool little figure. A, <laughs> this is probably the weirdest thing out of the box so far, but beef and cheeseburger packet, which they released in the UK from Asda, I think it was. Um, but despite the way, well, despite how cool they look, they actually taste disgusting. So just keep the box guys, don't read them. Then we have the um, Diamond Select Gallery, Just League Superman which I know they do all of the Justice League and figures like this, but 
you can probably see me in the reflection rather than the actual figure but I don't think the detail is that great and I know that I have um, better figures to put on display so this one is going to go in the attic I'm afraid. Coming towards the end of what was in this box so this was from uh, London Film and Comic Con so I traded well, because I haven't seen Smallville yet, I traded a ticket to see Tom Welling. I know, I didn't meet him. Um, but now that I've actually watched it, I am really good about that. But I traded it for, well, I gave it to a friend that I went to Comic-Con with and he came back and gave me this, which is signed by George, well, Jorge Jimenez. So I'm very happy with that and that's definitely going to go on display in my room. Oh, actually, a funny story about this um, print. As I left London Comic Con, so you have to go on the tube and on the trains and stuff to, to get back to the main train station from the venue. And I put it down so I could put my coat on because it started to rain. And it blew into the train track, so onto the train track. So I was begging the people that worked there to let me go and get it, but obviously because it's sort of electrical and obviously dangerous. They said no and that I'd have to fill out a form and collect it the next day. Um, luckily the train driver saw me panicking and trying to go get it and he stopped the train just before um, just before it hit it really and he jumped down and got it for me so yeah this that was a blessing in disguise so I'm so happy for, well so grateful for that guy to, for actually helping me but then we also have this so this is the San Diego Comic Con bag I wasn't given this one I was actually given a I think it was a Constantine bag um, which I don't have anymore but a friend of mine at San Diego Comic Con gave me this and it is awesome. So out of all the items I've just showed you, this is what's going to be going on display. This is going to be really difficult actually because, well, you've seen how many boxes are in that room and, you know, this box is kind of half full now. So it's going to be very difficult to pick between and actually make it fit in the room, but you know, I'm ready to give it a go. Okay, and then here are some pieces that I got for my birthday, actually, which will definitely be going on display because they are awesome. So the Foco Limited Edition Bobblehead Justice League Superman. I'm running out of space here. And the Jim Shaw. Let's see. The Jim Shaw Man of Steel figurine, which is I love this figure. It's just so so unique. Um, but just like the others, I'll show you in more depth when I do actually put the items out because I have a lot to get through. And so onto box number two. So I've emptied it out just so it's easier. But we'll go through each item and roughly how I got it if I can remember. So I hope this is as enjoyable as it is, well for you as it is for me because as a collector, I've got over, I think it's over 2,000 items and, you know, I f actually frequently forget what I do have. So it's fun for me to actually go through all my stuff and actually figure it out. So first up, we have a Superman Mega figure, which is, as you can see, packaged very carefully. So a little bit of damage, not too much, in pretty good shape, including the cape and the back. So I kind of want to put that on display, but I feel like it's going to be a bit of a pain to to actually do. So I'm going to keep that in the box for now. We also have this lovely little necklace, which was given to me by Kate Justice Jewelry. Um, and I've never worn it, as you can probably see why, but it's so cool. It's the classic Superman cape, which is iconic. As you've probably seen already, the Superman Rock'em Sock'em game where he's fighting a, well, Metallo, it says, but it doesn't really look like Metallo, I'll be honest, but it's a really cool box from the 90s. And it does actually work, so I've tried it myself. I found it on eBay, I think it was actually. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to put this on display because I feel like it's going to be too much, well, going to take up too much space, mostly. We'll have... We also have the a Metropolis postcard from Superman Celebration, which was sent to me by Luke Bug. I'm not going to turn it over because it has my address on, but thank you, Luke, for that. I have two autographs, which are from um, Liverpool Comic Con, actually, where Jeff East was. So I have two autographs from him. 
he did spell my name wrong on that one i'll hold him to that <laughs> and those are going to go on display with the rest of my autographs too some superman birthday cards this is back when superman returns was out and this is a job for it superman. still works i'm always around to help let's go up up and away so this card i love in particular because it was actually one of the last birthday cards that my nan wrote for me so that's partly why i kept it and obviously because it's superman 2 but i really love this piece and yet another birthday card superman 1 i have quite a lot quite a lot of them because obviously people see them and think of me so this one's from a family friend and her daughter i I also have some Corgi pieces, so the Daily Planet um, truck, which is still in the packaging, or part of the packaging. Um, and we also have the Daily Planet helicopter, which sadly isn't in packaging and isn't really in the best condition, but it's not too bad considering its age. I think I found both of those on eBay, so not bad finds at all. And so out of those, I'm going to put the Corgi on display because it's in the packaging and it's just easy to clean, I guess. Um, and it's a great piece. We also have Crypto the Superdog from the DC Primal Age series by Funko. Um, I do love this piece and I have a lot of Funko Pops, um, as you will see soon. I think I have boxes and boxes full. Um, but sadly, this one's not going to make the cut. And it's not because I don't love it. It's just because it's huge and... Yeah, I need to really prioritise what's going to go out because I'm running out of space already. So these are just some cool art prints that I think uh, two of the guys that I work with uh, got me these from Germany, I think it was, um, when they did a show there. But they're pretty cool. And finally from this box we have the Figure Toys Company um, Superman from the World's Greatest Hero series. Looks like he could be in a little bit of pain now with his face, and yeah, I'm gonna put this on um, on display because I, I I really like these and I really like the box and well, just the packaging is really cool too. And it's an early bird first release, so you can see on the back all the other characters that you can get. I think this may be the only one that I do have. I might have another one, but I'm not too sure. But I'm definitely gonna try and collect the lot. Two boxes down. God knows how many to go. It's going to take a while, so there'll probably be several videos of this, which I hope you enjoy because, you know, I'm enjoying going through all the stuff. Like I said before, it's very rare that I manage, well, get an opportunity to go through everything that I have. And like I said, I have so many items and things that I've collected, I genuinely forget what I've got. So it's a joy to go through.